Hey friends, how's it going? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing my October TBR where I'm going to be letting you know about all of my spooky TBR plans for the month of October. I am so excited. Like I cannot believe the month of October is finally here. It's genuinely my favorite time of year. Like the most wonderful time of the year is here and I have so many exciting spooky videos planned for October that I can't wait to let you know about in this video. I'm also going to be updating you on the Book Troop book club. I'm going to be letting you know all about our November book club pick as well as some upcoming co-host information. But before we do jump into the TBR and all of the October reading plans, I first wanted to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I mean, I've been raving about HelloFresh for years now. And if you've never tried them before, I think now would be the perfect time to try them because you can make this fall the tastiest season yet with farm fresh produce and easy autumn inspired recipes delivered right to your door. The best thing for me about HelloFresh is that they deliver everything that you need to make these meals in pre-proportioned ingredients. So all of the protein, all of the veggies, all of the sauces and the spices all arrives in your box with these instruction cards, by the way, that are so freaking helpful because they have picture photos on the back showing you how to make each recipe, which is very nice and very convenient, especially for somebody like me that is not the most confident person in the kitchen. I love that they break it down and they make it so easy to follow these recipes. I love that HelloFresh has so many options for whatever kind of food that you're craving because you can choose from a changing menu of over 50 recipes every single week and you can pick from over 100 market add-on items like breakfast, snack, dessert. One of their recent breakfast items that I'm really excited about is this avocado and pineapple salsa breakfast toast because I am a sucker for avocado toast. I'm always discovering some of my favorite new recipes though from HelloFresh like this one that I made recently called this pecan crusted chicken with honey mustard sauce and lemony apple salad. I remember I first made this dish last fall and it instantly became one of my new favorites and so I was so excited to make this dish again because this pecan crusted chicken paired with that honey mustard sauce is a combination that is truly out of this world and something that I personally would have never thought of on my own. So you can get 10 free meals by going to hellofresh.com and using my code GABBYREADS10 and that deal will be applied across seven boxes. It is for new subscribers only and it varies by plan. But that's 10 free HelloFresh meals when you go to hellofresh.com and you use my code GABBYREADS10. What an incredible deal. Definitely be sure to take advantage because 10 free meals, that's a lot of free food. Check out the link down in my description and thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And now let's jump into the books. All right, so the first thing I want to let you know about is the Book Troop Book Club information. If you're new to my channel, the Book Troop is a book club that I host once a month on my YouTube channel. And for the month of October, we're going to be reading Incidents Around the House by Josh Mallerman. And dude, I am so excited. Like I've been itching to read this book ever since it published this summer. I've just been so excited to read this book because Josh Mallerman is somebody I would consider to be like one of my favorite horror authors. He's written some of my favorite horror books of all time like Daphne, the House at the Bottom of a Lake, Bird Box, just to name a few. And so I've been really, really looking forward to incidents around the house and I've been hearing great things. It does seem like most people that are reading this book are just absolutely loving it and saying that it is genuinely super creepy. All I know about this is that the premise says that this book is told from the perspective of a young girl whose troubled family is targeted by an entity that she calls Other Mommy. That is all I need to know. Like just hearing that alone, that sounds so freaking creepy. And I'm so excited that for the Book Troop live show in the month of October, I'm gonna be joined by my my friends Marcy from Marcy Reads as well as Allie from All I Do Is Read and I'm so excited to have both of them on. I've had Marcy on the book troop now a few times and Marcy is just always the best. Like she's so awesome to talk to and I feel like we always have a lot of similar taste when it comes to like thriller and horror books so I can't wait to have her on and then Allie from All I Do Is Read. This will be her first time on the book troop and I recently discovered her channel within the last like year or year and a half and her videos are just genuinely so much fun. Like she just has the best personality. I think this live show is gonna be so great and I really hope Hope that this is a book that we all end up loving. And then I'm very excited to let you know that my Patreon has voted for the November book troop pick. So I had them vote on these three options, which are three of some of my most anticipated thrillers of the year. So I was going to be excited no matter what ended up winning. And I'm so excited to let you know that from that poll, Someone in the Attic by Andrea Mara ended up winning, which is very cool because this is a recently published thriller. It was a book of the month pick very recently as well. This one sounds so creepy and it sounds like it involves like a home invasion, but it is a thriller. I think 
think it's a thriller. I don't think it falls into the horror genre much. It says we're following this character, Anya, and it says she's enjoying a relaxing bath when she hears a noise coming from the ceiling. Through the open bathroom door, she sees the attic hatch swing down and a masked figure drops to the floor. 30 seconds later, Anya is dead. And it said across town, Anya's old school friend, Julia, sees an online video of a masked figure climbing out of an attic. She suddenly realizes why the footage is eerily familiar. It was filmed inside her own home in a luxury gated community designed to keep intruders out. Why would a stranger target Julia? Unless of course it's not a stranger at all. That sounds so fun and so creepy, does it not? And so I'm so excited to let you know that for this live show in November, I'm gonna be joined by my friends Kat from Cat Chats, as well as Sharni from Sharni and Books. Kat is somebody that I have had on the book tour before and I always really love watching her videos because I feel like me and Kat have very similar taste when it comes to most thrillers and horror books. And she's always reading the new releases, so I always love to get her opinions on them. And then Sharni is somebody that I've never had on the book tour before, but I'm so excited to have her on. She just has such an amazing personality and I've been following her here on YouTube for quite some time now. And I just can't wait to discuss this book with these two. I think it's gonna be such a fun live show. So hopefully you can join us in November for this one. And then speaking of incidents around the house, one of the uh, kind of like creepy, spooky reading vlogs that I'm hoping to work on in the month of October is going to be a reading vlog where I wanna read some horror books completely in the dark. And so I'm basically only gonna be allowing myself to read these books after the sun goes down in the dark in my room. And I have two books that I would like to read for that video. One of them is gonna be Incidents Around the House because I heard that this one is like genuinely so creepy. And I feel like trying to read this in the dark would only like add to that experience. So this is gonna be included in a vlog of that kind. And then the other book that I'm hoping to read in a vlog like this is gonna be the book William by Mason Coyle. And this is one that I was able to check out from my library, but this is definitely one of my most anticipated horror books of this year as well. All I really know about this one is that we're following this man who's a brilliant engineer and he's created this artificial AI robot that he's calling William. And then I guess some freaky shit starts happening with this AI robot. I don't really know. Look at that cover. It's so creepy. Like there's just the little red eyes watching from behind the door. And so I feel like that would be a really fun reading vlog, trying to read both of these books completely in the dark and seeing if it makes me more scared to be reading these. So that's going to be a vlog that I'm planning to do in the month of October. I am very excited. Something else exciting that I just planned for the month of October is this little Patreon exclusive readathon that I'm going to be hosting called Short and Spooky. And I am so excited for this readathon. I actually got the idea for this readathon, like the title is kind of loosely inspired by the new Sabrina Carpenter album, you know, because it's called Short and Sweet. And I thought, oh my God, wouldn't that be so cute to host a Patreon readathon called Short and Spooky. And then the whole goal of this readathon is to either read books that are A, short, or B, spooky. And so those are the only two reading prompts for this readathon is to either read something that's short or spooky or both. And so I know for myself, I'm gonna be trying to read a lot of different like horror novellas or any kind of like short form horror that I can get my hands on during this readathon, I'm probably gonna be reading. So the readathon is gonna be happening in the last weekend of October from Friday, October 25th through Sunday, October 27th. And I'm so excited. I think this little readathon is gonna be so freaking cute. I am planning to host sprints at least two of the days. I think on the Friday and the Sunday, I wanna host sprints. And then during the reading sprints, I am going to be hosting some trivia. It's going to be mostly like horror movie related trivia or horror book related trivia. Some books that I'm planning to read during this readathon. The one for sure that I'm going to be reading is Haunt Sweet Home. This is one that I absolutely cannot wait. I don't know too much about it other than that it involves like a haunted house, but it's for like a reality show. It sounds like it's gonna be really cool. And this one is on the shorter side. I believe it's like less than 200 pages. There's also Rest Stop by Nat Cassidy, which this one's supposed to come out around like mid October time. And this is another one that I cannot wait to read because Nat Cassidy is the author of Nestlings, which was like one of my favorite horror books of last year. And this one is a novella that he's coming out with pretty soon. So I can't wait to check out this one. There's also the book Guillotine by Delilah S. Dawson. I think that's how you say it, guillotine? But this is a new novella coming out by Delilah S. Dawson, who is the author of Bloom from last year that I really enjoyed. And this cover is just so pretty. It's so pink. It's so cute. I did get the audiobook for this one from Libro, so that's how I'm going to be reading this one. I also checked and my library does have the book Nothing But The Rain, and this one is another horror novella that I've been hearing about recently that I'm considering reading for this readathon as well. So there are a number of books that I'm thinking about reading for this readathon. I mean, I know it's only like three days long, you know, it's only like 
like a short little weekend thing. But also because these books are short, I'm curious to see like how many of these books I'll be able to get through in that amount of time. So I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait. I think it's going to be such a fun, cute little readathon. So if you want to join us, I'll have the link for my Patreon down below. And this readathon is available for every tier on my Patreon. And then in another video that I'm going to be working on in the month of October is going to be a video where I read your horror book recommendations. If you missed it recently, I posted in a YouTube community post and in an Instagram story asking for your horror recommendations. And I got so many exciting recommendations and I cannot wait to be filming this video. And this is a video that I've made like every October for like the last couple of years now. And it is a staple on my channel at this point. It's like one of my favorite videos to make every year. And I want to keep most of my TBR a surprise for this video, you know, because I think that's part of the fun for me. But one of the books that I will for sure be reading that I thought I would just let you know about is the book called Sleep Tight. This is one that got mentioned a number of times in a few different comments and I don't really know too much about this. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't really know anything about this book, but I did see that it just came out very recently. I thought it was a book of the month pick actually recently as well. And this one just looks so creepy and so weird. It's actually from the same author as The Nightmare Man, which I do own, but I haven't actually read that book yet either. So hopefully Sleep Tight ends up being a great time. And then some other books that I'm planning to read this month include So Thirsty by Rachel Harrison. I am so excited to be holding the new Rachel Harrison in my hands. Like you have no idea. And this is one that I'm especially excited about because it involves vampires, which is why it's called, you know, So Thirsty. But Rachel Harrison is an author that I try to read all of her new releases like every single October. I don't know why. I feel like her books are like the perfect kind of like fun Halloween October type of reads. And so hopefully this one is going to be one that I end up enjoying quite a bit. I was able to pick up my copy from Aardvark Book Club because they had it as a selection and what's really cool is that the one aardvark had was a signed copy so i was like how cool is that i can't wait to read this one and i do plan to vlog my experience reading this one i think i'm gonna do another video that's like a spend a cozy fall day with me kind of video like the one that i did last year actually where i read black sheep by rachel harrison i'll have that video down below if you want to check out the video that i did last year but i love doing videos like that one where it's just kind of like spending a fall day together and i just read a new release horror book and then i also you know like go thrift shopping i like bake something new you know all that kind of fun stuff so that is the plan for this book and i can't wait i hope it's fantastic and then some other books that i'm hoping to be able to read in the month of october include a sunny place for Shady People by Mariana Enriquez. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This one is actually a collection of short stories and it is a horror book. It's actually from the same author as Our Share of Night, which was one of my top favorite horror books of last year. So I've been highly, highly anticipating this. And like, isn't this cover just absolutely stunning? Oh my gosh, like I love the yellow. And so yeah, I don't really know anything about this except for the fact that it's a collection of 12 different short horror stories, which I love short story collections that fall into the horror genre. I just eat that shit up. So I cannot wait to check this one out. I'm also hoping to read this one called Come Out, Come Out by Natalie C. Parker. And this one is a new young adult horror book that just sounds really interesting. I think that this one is called Come Out, Come Out because it has a lot of different conversations about like queer characters and like the feeling of being afraid to come out. It does say this delightfully dark and pointed novel calls out the systems that erase gay, queer, and trans identity, giving space to embrace queerness and to unleash the power of friendship and found family against the real monsters in the world. So it just sounds like it's gonna be an interesting time I really do love this cover. I love how like their faces are like in the haunted house. It just looks so cool. So this is one that I'm hoping to get to in the month of October. There's also this book that I want to read called The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I literally know nothing about this. Like I don't even know what genre this book falls into. I just saw that it was a Libro ALC. So I do have access to the audiobook on Libro. And I was like, this just sounds, it looks so cute. It looks like the perfect read for the month of October. The audiobook's only seven hours long. Oh, I just checked on Libro and this says that it's a spicy, small town romance. I mean, sure, you know, why not? I'll read that. <laughs> There's also so many new releases that I want to be reading in the month of October that I don't necessarily have plans for at the moment, but like they could happen. Like there's that book Fang Fiction. That one looks so cute and it's like a vampire romance. There's The Hitchcock Hotel, which this one looks especially fun. It's like murder mystery. It's like inspired by Hitchcock, I think. Like, oh my god, it just looks fantastic. There's also Society of Lies, which is like a newer thriller that I'm just so, so curious about. It looks really 
really good and I'm obsessed with that cover. And then there's The Last One at the Wedding by Jason Reculik, which this is the same author as Hidden Pictures. And this is one that just looks really interesting. I love this cover, by the way, The Last One at the Wedding. Oh my God, it's like one of my favorite book covers. I love the lake vibes and the cabin vibes and the, oh my God, it's just magical. But any of those books I could be reading in the month of October, I guess it's just gonna come down to like whether or not I have time to get to them. So those are all of the books that I'm planning to read in the month of October. I did want to mention this because as you might have heard, you know, I was supposed to be hosting a Trova trip going to Italy in the month of October. But unfortunately, the Trova trip to Italy ended up getting canceled. And it really sucks because it was completely out of my control. Like this is a trip that I was really looking forward to and that I really wanted to go on. But unfortunately, Trova trip ended up having to cancel the trip because as you might know, for these Trova trips, I needed a minimum number of travelers in order to make the trip happen. And I did have enough travelers at one point, but then unfortunately, a few people on the trip had to back out for different reasons. And so I went below the number of minimum travelers required to make the trip happen. And so unfortunately, uh, Trova Trip, you know, let me know that there was like nothing we could do. Like it wasn't really in my control anymore and they had to go ahead and cancel the trip. And so I felt so awful and so terrible because this is something that I was really looking forward to and I really wanted to have this like group travel experience, you know? I feel really terrible that it wasn't able to work out and hopefully we can try to make something work in the future. But I just thought I would let you know because if you were looking forward to an Italy vlog from me this month, then unfortunately that's not going to be happening. But the thing is that me, my sister, my mom, and her friend Diana, we had already bought our flights to Italy because the trip was confirmed at one point and we weren't really sure if we wanted to try going to Italy like on our own, you know, because like the whole point was that we wanted this experience with like the group travel experience. But we did have the flight credits, you know, that we wanted to use. And so we decided that we're actually going to be going to Chicago for the first time ever this month in October. And so I am really excited because I'm going to go to Chicago for the very first time. It's a city that I've never been to. We're all going to take just like a girl's trip, you know, together, just the four of us. And I think it's going to be a really great time. And so even though I am really upset that Italy couldn't happen at this time, I am really looking forward to, you know, getting to go to Chicago. And so this month you can expect a vlog from me for like my week in Chicago and kind of like getting to explore Chicago. I'm hoping to check out, you know, a lot of the local bookstores and like coffee shops and like different things like that. And I'm hoping to also like bring one of these books with me on the trip. Like maybe I'll try to read this one like while I'm on the plane or something, or maybe I'll listen to that pumpkin spice cafe book while I'm on the airplane. <laughs> I don't know, but I just figured I would let you know in case I do get some questions asking about the Italy vlog. I really wish that I could have made this Italy trip happen. Like I really wish that there was something more that I could do, but unfortunately it was completely out of my control. Control and it really does break my heart because I really wanted to make this trip happen. But yeah, that is all for me for the month of October. I know it was a lot and I have so many things that I'm looking forward to this month. I mean, October, it genuinely is, you know, my favorite time of the year. Like it's finally here. So you'll have to let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about in this TBR. Let me know what you think about them. And also let me know what are you planning to read in the month of October. If you do want to participate in my short and spooky readathon, I will have the link for my Patreon down below. And it's gonna be happening in the last weekend of October. I can't freaking wait. I think it's gonna be a blast. So thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye!